Hello again, I am Blunty. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video about some of the more interesting and useful Nintendo Switch accessories I had found listed so far. A few days after that, I did one of, if not the first, Nintendo Switch accessory independent review in the world. Except I wasn't supposed to have done that. <laughs> Turns out the products were sent to me two weeks early by accident, and no one told me there was an embargo. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Anyway, out of respect for the people who sent it to me in the first place, I voluntarily stomped the video to private. It'll go back up, or I'll just make a better new video about it that can go live on launch day, which is when the embargo actually ends. Sorry about that. But one thing I haven't touched on yet in any talk about accessories is power banks, battery backups. And that's because... Unlike the Act First Think Later publications like The Verge, I was anticipating that the USB Type-C charging on the Switch would very likely have higher demands than the average phone or tablet intended power banks would be suitable for. So I waited for all the information, and now we have it. So now I can actually make a useful suggestion. I sure hope not too many people out there bought anything based on the recommendations of publications like The Verge, because, you know, fuck you, I guess, you wasted your money by listening to those untrustworthy asshats. They may as well have been seen it. Anyway, for full speed charging of the Nintendo Switch, you'll be wanting a power device, and this applies to USB wall warts and power banks all the same, that can deliver 15 volts at at least 2.6 amps. And it just so happens today I was on the Razer website, mainly because earlier today I posted a video review of some keyboards they do, and I noticed they have a new product coming. A power bank, ostensibly designed and intended for users of their sweet little ultralights, the Razer Blade Stealth laptops. I've also reviewed that thing, by the way, so I was already aware that it, just like the Switch, charges over a USB-C port. Scrolling down to find the tech specs, I found what I wanted. It can indeed deliver 15 volts at 3 amps, so the switch can comfortably pull every last drop of the 2.6 amps it wants from it. So long as you are using an appropriately high quality cable, of course, don't cheap out on the USB-C cable, especially when you're talking about 15 volt supplies. The Razer Power Bank will be launching in March, apparently, and I've not been able to find an Australian price for it yet, but I've seen $149 as the expected price in American dollars, so maybe $220 to $250 odd Australian dollars by the time it hits our shores, hopefully not much more than that. So yeah, not cheap, is it? But it's 12,800 milliamp hour capacity means you'll get around about just under three full charges for the Nintendo Switch out of it. And rather importantly, you'll get a reliable one year warranty from a brand worth having some faith in. Now I'm sure absolutely there's going to be some much cheaper alternatives around from some no-name Chinese brands. We'll probably be flooded with the damn things before long. But while with the low current draw from phones and stuff, I'd risk it on the cheaper Chinese power banks. In fact, I have done in the past and probably will do again. But when you're pulling this kind of power, 15 volts, 3 amps, from a pack of lithium ion cells, I really would personally much prefer to spend some extra dollars to know I'm getting some quality components. And Razer's own laptops are what we can look to for proof of their expertise in high current draw battery technology. Now, of course, this Razer Power Bank is not going to be the best choice for everybody, but if you travel a lot with your Switch, for example, long international flights, it may very well be worth investing in. And of course, you can also use it with your other USB gear too, doi. It supports a full range of charging output standards for USB-C from 5 volts to 12 volts at a range of current ratings, and has a standard USB Type-A socket on it too for everything else in your life. Its own charge time is 2 hours if you are using the 45 watt power brick that comes with the Razer Blade Stealth. They give no other ratings on the website for any other kind of charging. But if I get one of these for myself, I will test it out on other sources and see what kind of charge time I get out of it. So far though, it seems like the best high capacity battery that I have found for using with the Nintendo Switch. At least one that's from a brand I have personal experience with and indeed trust in. But yeah, you absolutely have to be careful about what battery pack you are choosing for your Nintendo Switch. It is not as simple as it is with your phones. A lot of the lower power battery packs may indeed work, kind of, with the Switch if you want to charge it quite slowly. But if you want to actually use it at the same time as you're running off the power bank here, you really do want to pay attention to what you're doing. 15 volts, at least 2.6 amps. But yeah, I hope this has been helpful. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.